1955 Buick Sam. Oh shit! Look at here. What's that? Dang man, Arthur would be hitting the brick if he saw dust spots on his brand new stainless steel exhaust system. Feels like I don't even want to touch it. I'm afraid to scratch don't it. Don't touch it. Got the 322 nail head. This has been painted inside and out. On the rotisserie, rotisserie restoration. Five years, five years in the making. And it's still not, if you look how detailed it is when I painted the white, I cut it off so everything inside here would be yellow and only the lip would be out white. All factory been factory painted just like the factory would have done it. All I can say is, I'm glad it's leaving my shop. Me too. Big job. Right, Bruno, did we work hard on that car? Come on, help me out. Come here. Come on. Come on, Bruno. Come on. Help him, Bruno. Help me out. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're supposed to be out. Get, get over here. Come on. Help. Come on, Bruno. Come on. Come on. Alright. Over there playing around. small pieces. Now we've already painted the dash and most of the molding, there's a couple pieces of molding I gotta redo. That's an ashtray door. These are our controls for our air conditioning. Those have been chrome plated. Now what you gotta do, we gotta, and here's our other door. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So if you look down the line there, that's everything. Now this is our speaker grill. And I see that it already came off the hook there. There we go. And that's our speaker grill. Now, this has all been re-chromed, okay? But what the deal is, is, the only thing that's actually chrome is where you see the green tape. So what I had to do is we lightly sandblasted that, okay? And then we came back and I sanded it with 180 grit sandpaper. And uh, the same goes, you can see the scratches in it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a very light coat of sealer. Now I clean that off with rubbing alcohol, denture alcohol. And the reason I did that is because if you use wax and grease remover on chrome, what will happen, you'll get a lot of fish eye because of the surface that you're working with. So you wanna use denture alcohol or rubbing alcohol. And that actually cleans it thoroughly, so don't touch it once you do that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these green, okay, the color that they are, the chrome pieces. Then what I'll do before I clear coat it, I'll come back and I will peel all the tape off real easy. And what that will do, okay, when I clear coat it, it won't have any tape lines on it. It will seal all the paint in and all the chrome will be sealed with it. So it all should match up really nice and good. And uh, working on cars like this and pieces like this is a very, very touchy situation. I'm going to stress right now, if you haven't been doing this for 10 to 15 years plus, and you have your own shop, the best thing to do is stay away from it. So let me get those painted, and we'll see what they look like. This is Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom. All right, what we're doing is uh, we're painting all the dash pieces that go in our 1955 Buick Century three-speed on the column collector's car. Now, I've already explained to you how picky these type of people are. 
and each individual piece that you see hanging up here has to be painted separate. Now, this is the real kicker right here, see, is that these were actually chrome plated. Some of this stuff has been chrome plated and it's actually chrome plated underneath and then you have to paint everything that's gray. We're going to have to come back. I don't know if you can see that where it says off right there and it says fan over here. That all has to be hand painted, okay? Hand painted with a small brush and I think I'm going to let Bruno do that. I don't think so. Not today. He's just going to sit there and supervise. He's not feeling good today for some reason. You all right today, boy? You doing all right? So, what you got here is if you look close, okay, and now let me show you, I'm going to put it right. So, it's very important that when you are working with a piece in a vintage car like this that has chrome plating and paint, and I'm painting this with base coat, clear coat, DBC, PPG paint. As you see, I don't know if you can see that, but I have taped off the chrome. And now, I'm going to peel it off very carefully. We don't have any clear on this yet. This is a little base coat paint. And it takes, there you go. Now, if you look right there, you can see that that's chrome on the ring. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape very lightly. You want to be very careful pulling that paint off, not to peel, peel the tape off, not to bring the paint with it. Very important when you paint a piece like this that you put very, very thin coats on it. As you see, that's what it looks like. Now what I'll do with that, these still have to be painted, but what I'll do is I will clear coat that just like you see it, and that will seal all the paint around the edges. It will be clear coated with three coats of clear. Sure, they used to paint it with uh, acrylic enamel, but we're going to use base coat now. What you got here? This is the grill shell and the stereo radio cover that goes in a '55 Buick Century. There you go. What will happen if you use wax and grease remover? The paint won't stick proper, and you will also get fish eye on your chrome, and you'll be fucked in the ass at the same time. We don't like to get fucked in the ass over here. Because all that does is screw us around where we have to uh, do the job over like I have to do on a few pieces that the owner brought over that he didn't like. But that's okay because uh, that's my job. See, that's what I do. The customer inspects it. If he's not happy with it, then we got to do it the way that the customer wants. Especially a car like this. So, I'm going to peel all the tape off of that. I'll go ahead and check every piece that I got and make sure it's ready for clear coat. So this is Pete. And we're going to get this done and take a look at it. And my little pal Bruno's down there watching me. So he's telling me to get my ass in gear and get to fucking work. So here we go. 1955 Buick Century. That's a custom color green, okay, that I had to hand mix myself. And that's another thing with these antique cars. You've got to have those colors very, very precise. They can't be uh, one shade off and one shade on. So let me get that uh, all done, and we'll get it clear coated. There won't be no tape lines on here when we clear coat it, okay? Because that will fill everything in, and that will look like brand new and last forever. Yes, it's hot here. I got some sweat on my nose. I had to get up. We'll talk to you later. Take it easy.